Hello everybody, my name is Ed and this is the Ed Does channel on YouTube. So, we are in unprecedented times. We have a global lockdown um, and we are being told to stay in our houses. Now the only time that we can leave our houses, our homes, is to go and get medical supplies, food supplies and do one bit of exercise a day. And I've been thinking very seriously about um, when we leave the house that we have to keep ourselves safe. Um, so I'm going to tell you something a bit about myself. When I was a boy back in the 80s I enrolled in um, judo. Uh, it was a local club. Um, I think they were called the South London something other club. Um, it was behind the Stockwell Tube Station. I used to walk there a few times a week and I learned judo. Um, we had Brian Jacks. Now if you're of an age, you'll, you'll know who Brian Jacks is. He was a, a world-class Olympian judo master, and he used to come down and give lessons. And I've actually somewhere, I don't know where, but somewhere, I think there was a photo of me um, having a sparring session with Brian Jacks. Now, this went on at the same club to become taekwondo. So I actually got quite good at both those, judo and taekwondo. Um, learned a lot of self-discipline and um, basically learned how to look after myself. So what I thought would be good, as we're having to leave our homes in these unprecedented times, these crazy times of global lockdown, I thought I would um, give you a, a mini masterclass in um, judo and taekwondo. Now, I've actually mixed these two styles up, okay, um, and I'm going to call it um, Edika. Okay? Edika. Now, no one's ever thought about this. So we've got Judo and Taekwondo. Put them together. And as I've thought about this, I'm going to call it Edika. So stay tuned. I'm going to give you some examples of uh, what might happen when you're on the streets. Um, I'm going to give you some scenarios. And I'm going to t show you and tell you um, how we can deal with these so anyway stay tuned i think it's going to be a good one. okay here we are we're in the garden and i'm going to set up a little scenario of what might happen to you when you're out in your local uh, neighborhood and how you can protect yourself so here we go i've got my gloves on because we have to make sure that we're not going to get any nasty diseases from the baddies okay so if my assistant could please come in action now i've grabbed his hand and his grabber, okay? And then I'm gonna grab it with this arm and I'm gonna go <laughs> Now, I've disarmed my assailant, okay? What we do now, my assailant is gonna try and punch me with this arm, okay? Yeah. Go for it. <clears throat> see, how I, see how I stopped him? And then I go, I just sweep him like that and then I grab him like that, and then I have to... There. And that's why we have to watch out for builders. Number two is, there might be a pirate in your town who's going around hitting people with their seals, okay? So, let's go through the scenario as it stands. Gloves on, and action! So, I've grabbed him, okay, I've got the pirate, I've got me in a, in a headlock there, arm lock, you see, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just take him straight to the ground, and then we grab him and we go like that, and what they really hate is raspberries. Okay, so this is scenario number two, how to deal with an unruly pirate. We have item or scenario number three. Again, put the gloves on, but this is probably the worst of them all. In your local neighborhood, there's always a vigilante superhero. Watch out for them because they are the worst and this is how you deal with them. Action. Oops. <laughs> you can't get me. You see, they get really scared. They get really scared. 
<laughs> See, they, they don't want to come near you because they know that you're dangerous. Come on then, let's have you. Come on, you can't get me. Come on then. See, and then you bait them, and then they, ah, we unmask them, we unveil who they really are in society. It's the little ones, the Xaviers. Ah, get him. Ah. <laughs> 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 And then we get the seal. <laughs> and that is how you do self-defense in your neighborhood. There's no way he can get me again. I can get you again. Don't hit me. Ow. Problem. This is what the result should be like. Okay? Just to make sure they are completely uh, incapacitated, this is what you have to do. Ah, he's still alive. <laughs> and then we run. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, that was me doing Edica. Edica. Whoa. So, serious stuff now. What I want you to do for me, if you really enjoyed that and it made you laugh, smile, you might think, what a worry. But hopefully you do it a nice way. Um, what I need you to do is subscribe to the channel. I need you to share it out there on the big wide web, make comments, hit the little bell that's in one of these corners, um, hit that bell, um, but thumbs up, give me a thumbs up, that would really help me get in that YouTube algorithm and get the Ed Does channel out there in the big wide world. So if you don't mind, I'm going to go off and practice some more Edica. See you later.